Welcome to The Anxious Morning, where each weekday morning we take a look at ideas, concepts, and lessons designed to help you understand and overcome your anxiety. For more information, visit us at theanxiousmorning.com. You can't recover until you show up for your recovery. That means that you're not going to get back to living a normal life until you get out of bed, put on some clothing, and perform the basic tasks associated with getting ready for a day. Even when we don't want to do this, we do this. It's small, but it counts, and more than you think it does. That's what showing up looks like. You may be reading this at a point where you feel paralyzed by anxiety and fear, and where you see yourself as simply unable to live the life you once lived or so desperately hope to live again. You may long for days occupied with work, hobbies, social interaction, travel, art, or whatever else you think makes life worth living. But at the same time, you may see those activities as so far out of your reach that they become impossible pipe dreams. They are not, I promise. But you won't get there in big leaps forward. So while that vacation to Europe may feel completely impossible for you, let's just start the journey by showing up, standing up, getting ready to do something, shedding the old posture and adopting a new one. We can't get our lives back if we don't at least show up ready for the process. Now, this might seem like silly life coachy nonsense, and yeah, it does kind of look that way. But beyond the motivational message and the cliche, there is truth. And that truth is that there is always a first step to take. That first step is just the simple act of showing up. So let's get practical now. Here are a few questions you can ask yourself that can help you to start to simply show up for your recovery. Forget the recovery itself. Just think about getting up on your feet and getting ready to get in the game. That is a perfectly acceptable start. What position are you in now? How are you behaving toward your anxiety, talking about your anxiety, and interacting with it? How can you change that position or even just begin to question it so that you can start to turn in the direction of recovery? What rituals are you engaged in now every day? What are you doing to manage your anxiety, avoid your triggers, or keep things from escalating into the can't-handle-it zone? How can you break one or two of these rituals so you can start to show up for your recovery? Pick tiny things. They count. What crutch might you drop, even for just a few minutes today, that will face you toward your anxiety and therefore toward recovery? You may not take actual steps forward today, but you can show up by at least facing in the right direction. The idea of showing up is a bit amorphous, that's true, but if you chew on it a little, you may find it to be a powerful idea. How is it powerful? Well, because to use an awful sports analogy, you cannot win the game if you are not even present at the stadium. So, go show up. That's a start. If you're enjoying The Anxious Morning and you'd like to get a copy of the podcast delivered into your email inbox every morning, visit theanxiousmorning.email and subscribe to the newsletter. If you're listening on Apple or iTunes, take a second and leave a five-star rating, maybe write a small review. It really helps me out. And finally, if you find my work useful and you'd like to help keep it free of advertising and sponsorships, you can see all the ways to support the work at theanxioustruth.com support. Thanks so much.